Hello pilots, Keith here. I'm going to do a review of the uh, Mr. RC Flying Mini uh, flying unit and it looks like this. It's very small, weighs 1.94 ounces and uh, uh, it requires of course a, uh, a Y cable to connect it into the, uh, the power uh, source, your battery, your flying battery, so it's about two ounces. Um, my challenge was to uh, get it into a Hobby King um, ready to fly Texan, um, which is, uh, let me see, about uh, ready to fly, it's about 12.3 ounces, so the, uh, the sound unit ended up being about 20% of the weight of this airplane. This is a little guy. Uh, this has a 30 inch uh, wingspan, uh, uses a 1000 milliamp 2S battery, uh, very small. And so this is probably the smallest airplane you can consider getting a sound unit in. Uh, but taking a peek at the bottom, which you'll see, I'm going to show you how I did all of this. Taking a peek at the bottom, uh, you can see that I've got the speaker uh, right on the, uh, uh, the center of gravity. And the speaker is the heaviest part, of course. And this is one of those high uh, uh, efficiency speakers and the battery, the, the flying battery is in and it's uh, plugged in. So let's, let's pop this up and, and uh, I'll show you what it sounds like. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm going to pop my uh, Radio Shack sound level meter on here. Uh, they claim that this is something about 90 um, decibels. So let's see. Right there, it's 96, 97, 93, 90. Okay. Not bad, huh? For a tiny little airplane and a tiny little sound system, this is uh, um, sound, engine sound, four different sounds um, in a very small airplane, a uh, 10 ounce airplane. So that's, that's amazing. I actually thought it was going to be heavier. I sort of miscalculated from the Hobby King website. Oh, if, did I tell you this is a Hobby King uh, uh, AT6 Texan? was like $56, something like that, ready to fly, just to throw your, uh, um, your receiver in it. We came with three servos, ailerons, and uh, uh, elevator. There, uh, there is no rudder on this airplane, so it's a bank and yank. And it comes with a 7-inch prop, which I don't think is enough, so I've ordered 8s. So an 8 slow fly, uh, for 8 by 4 7 I think, and when uh, that comes in, which should be tomorrow, we'll do a, um, a flight test for you to show you whether we can add 20% to the weight of a warbird, which is <laughs> doesn't have a lot of wing to begin with, and, uh, and fly it and get uh, good radial engine sound. But let me take you through how I did this, okay? Um, here's the sound system, the way uh, it... Uh, uh, it comes to you. It's wrapped in shrink wrap um, and it's one piece, but it's sort of, it's uh, stuck together with uh, double-sided tape. 
So it's very easy to take apart and to actually get it into this airplane, I had to look for places to put everything. And as it turned out, um, the uh, electronics went up into the canopy and the, the uh, speaker, of course, went uh, down um, underneath the wing. And the speakers fastened the wing um, and I, uh, uh, with uh, double-sided tape and the electronics are fastened to the fuselage under the canopy with silicon. Um, since silicon is, uh, it sticks pretty well to styrofoam, um, it works out well because it doesn't transmit electricity and you can, I, I have the bottom of the electronics circuit board um, right in the middle of wet silicon, but when it dries, it doesn't transmit electricity, so it holds it without shorting it out or screwing it up in any way. Um, here's the system apart, um, and here's the airplane with the sound system and a, and a ruler to show you about how big or small this thing is. This, this is a relatively light and, and tiny airplane. Um, you know, a, a, a f this speaker is 1.22 inches, um, not like the two inch speaker, which comes with their standard and pro unit. Um, here's how I started doing the trial fitting of the electronics. I got it apart and I started fooling around with what would fit where. I, I was sort of hoping that uh, um, I could make it work out okay. There's a, there's a great big volume control on the side of this thing, uh, which personally I don't think it needs, but uh, there it is. And uh, I, I couldn't get it inside the canopy, so I had to cut the canopy and, and uh, have it stick out the side. And, and, and in the end, you know, I, it, there it is, but it's not so awful. It's silver against silver, and, and um, you know, it, it's not that bad. Um, I just would prefer that it wasn't there, or it was removable. That would be nice. Um, I trial fit the speaker, as you can see, and uh, uh, when I uh, uh, cut the uh, piece out of the wing, by I, I took a, a hole saw and I just turned it backwards with my hand. Um, and uh, what I found out was this airplane's made out of styrofoam. Plain old beer cooler styrofoam. It is not EPO like Hobby King says. Um, sorry. <laughs> I posted that up on their review um, as a review. I'm, I'm online as a saddle bum. And, uh, you know, I'm a little disappointed that they can't properly identify the material and everything wants to be EPO because that's expanded polyolefin because it's tougher. Uh, styrofoam is not. Um, it, it will snap. Um, so, but gee, don't call it something it's not, okay? I, I don't like that. Um, I, you know, you pay for something, you expect it's going to be what you paid for. But here's the speaker installation, um, and I had when I got the mesh, it was uh, um, had a little fold in it, so I figured I would just sort of iron it on polyester on the iron. Don't do that. Here's what happens: it just melts into the iron and makes a major goopy mess. Um, which prompted my wife to say, you know, I needed a new iron anyway, don't bother cleaning it. So this cost me uh, the price of an iron. So don't iron this stuff. <laughs> it, it, it will actually kind of lay out by itself when you glue it in place. Um, and the way I, I put it in place was, um, I painted it first, um, and I know on the... Uh, the website that that um, the Mr. RC Flying website, they put it in place and then paint it. But that, to me, you know, gives you the probability that you're going to get some uh, paint on the speaker uh, itself. And I don't want that because I think it will alter the uh, um, the the sound producing capabilities. Maybe not a lot, but. Anything I don't want any kind of alteration. So I painted it first um, And then I, I sprayed the uh, back. Of, no, I yeah, I sprayed the back of it with uh, um, Accelerator and then I put foam safe 
uh, seed A onto the airplane and laid it in place wearing gloves, and it worked out fine. Um, and as you can see, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, so um, that worked out okay. Um, the biggest problem uh, getting this thing in there is there, it isn't the speaker and it's not the electronics, it's the wires. Uh, there's a pile of them. Uh, you've got a, uh, a Y cable for the power to the sound unit and you're in a tiny airplane and this is uh, this Y cable is made for you know big airplanes for servo uh, uh, splitting on ailerons and you know if there were a much smaller one that would be very very helpful um, but I did find a place to tuck everything kind of I chased the uh, uh, the ESC forward in this little spot which you can see and I slid everything um, as you can see I tucked everything under that uh, piece of foam that is supposed to hold the ESC in place. Now the canopy, that was another thing. The canopy had uh, a, a tremendous amount of cutting that needed to be done, shaving um, and, uh, and cutting to get everything uh, in place. The canopy is held in place by four magnets. Um, but obviously if you can't get the canopy to magnet to touch the fuselage magnet, you're not going to get any hold and you're going to lose your canopy in midair. Um, but with a lot of fiddling around, it snaps in place and I'm very happy with that. Here's a picture of the finished uh, solution. Um, I'm uh, pretty darn happy with it. And uh, uh, I think that if you do in fact buy a Mr. RC uh, Sound Mini unit, you need to be prepared to do some work. Um, especially if you're working with a, a small airplane, uh, you know, a little guy, a 10 ounce. If you had an airplane that was like 20 ounces ready to fly or a high winger, um, I think you might find enough room to slide this thing into your airplane without taking it apart. Uh, but uh, what I've done is at least proven that you can get it into a very small airplane with very limited space uh, it actually will go in and uh, it will sit on the CG and that airplane will fly. Um, so on this particular uh, unit, um, I would give this a, a four round Dell rating. Um, I would give it more if it didn't have a uh, uh, that big old uh, volume control. I mean, I, I don't need that volume control. I just run it wide open and if it's loud, I put earplugs in. Um, so extra weight and extra space, but hey, it is what it is. So at uh, the price, it's quite a good deal, and it's going to surprise everybody uh, on your flying field when you when you show up with a, a you know a little guy like this, and uh, the thing actually has sound. You'll be the only guy on the field with it. I guarantee you. So if you want to have some fun, and that's what flying's all about, isn't it? If you want to have some fun, look into the MrRCSound.com um, mini flying unit for your uh, tiny uh, foamies. Um, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. Thanks. This is Keith, and go out there and fly your electrons off.